Oh, good morning. Welcome to the Manda Cure, episode two. Today, I want to talk about internet words. So we all know those words, the ones that make you sit there and think, what the bloody hell does that mean? Well, I'm here to explain them to you. I shall bring you four words of the internet that uh, I commonly use or partake in, and I will explain them and give you some examples, hopefully just to give you a little bit more knowledge that you don't necessarily need. First word of the day. Twerking. Now, twerking is an informal type of sexual dance that uh, first emerged in the 90s, but has grown more and more popular uh, in today's day and age. Typically, it's R&B type of music that twerking is dance to. But if there's a dirty bass, mama gonna twerk. Now, twerking involves being in a low, kind of squatted position where you kind of pop the booty out and you. You know what? I'm just going to get Julio to show you. And that's what I like to call hashtag circle twerk. Ooh. Which leads us to our next word, hashtag. Hashtag originated on Twitter, which was a way for people to kind of tag the topic on which they were speaking about and people could click on that word and it would link them to other people who are also talking about that topic. And once internet users got in the habit of using that, they started using it more and more on other social networks and so in photos, on Instagram, in statuses, on Facebook, and as I just provided as an example in verbal context. Hashtags can be used in a couple of ways. Um, generally, it's about the topic of which the post is made in, um, a way to end it, or it can be completely off topic. That's just the internet. As you may have just heard, Oxford has announced the 2013 word of the year, which is selfie. Selfie. And what you may also know is that selfie was a term coined in none other than Australia. Now, selfie is the shortened version of the word self-portrait. And all it involves is taking a photo of yourself. Like so. So that one's pretty self-explanatory. A lot of teenagers tend to upload anywhere between 15 to 15 billion 548,000 selfies a day. Now, as governed by Australian law, two selfies per day. Just two. Dos. Do. It's all that's allowed. Moving on to our final word for the day. Derp. D-E-R-P. Derp. It was first used by a character named Mr. Derp on South Park, where he would hit himself on the hammer saying derp. And it's used when something stupid is said or done. Uh, it's not limited to humans though. Animals are quite known for their derpy moments. Really good derp. 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 The derp is used just to put emphasis into the fact that something stupid was said or done. These were your four words of the day. Thank you for tuning into the Monday Cure yet again. And this one's on time. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe or like or dislike if you're a hashtag hater. Hater is pretty self-explanatory. I hope I don't have to explain that one to you. Leave a comment down below. Share this video with the internet and hopefully I can brighten your Monday up a little bit more. Thanks for watching The Monday Cure. I'll see you next time, baby. Tune in next week to The Monday Cure for tips on how to mow your lawn. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Tune in next week to The Monday Cure for an interesting take on uh, Melbourne life.